the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers the title of the video circum center uh, in in center we use the angle bisectors of uh, the triangle uh, let us take uh, the triangle a b and uh, c in uh, finding out the in center we made each angle into two halves and then the connecting points is called as the in center now for circum center we have to find out the perpendicular bisectors for circum center we have to find out the perpendicular bisectors for this we have to find out the midpoint of each side of the triangle so let us begin with the bc how to find out the midpoint of the triangle we can actually uh, take a scale and measure and take the midpoint that is one method the other method is take the point c vertex c and bring it to point b and then and then make a strong crease in the middle strong crease in the middle so now you call that as d so for the side bc d is the midpoint so that means bd is equal to dc so what we have to do we have to take the perpendicular bisector that means take the midpoint and at the midpoint uh, the angle formed should be a right angle that means the angle with 90 degrees that means by folding the paper you make a strong crease and that crease meets the opposite side ac now let us say you know this point d it is meeting the opposite side at the point e okay so you can mark that line also that means de is a perpendicular bisector of the side bc similarly let us find out the perpendicular bisector of the side ac so first we have to find the midpoint of the side ac how to find the midpoint uh, take that uh, vertex c and let it coincide with the vertex a and then you get the midpoint then you make a very strong crease that means it becomes a perpendicular bisector so for the side ac the midpoint is f that is af is equivalent to fc so you can connect the uh, point f with another point and call that as uh, g now what we have to do you have to find out the perpendicular bisector for the other side ab so you have to find the midpoint of uh, the side ab how will you do that you take the vertex a and uh, and uh, let it coincide with the vertex b now what you have to do you have to uh, get a perpendicular bisector at that point which is meeting the other side which is meeting the other side now what we have got for a b let us call the midpoint as h 
now connect the h with uh, the other side and call that as uh, m okay so now you can notice that we have three perpendicular bisectors that is at the point h at the point d at the point f so you can uh, uh, take a, a right angle strip and you can notice that these three angles are right angles so what we have done we have taken the midpoint of each side and folded the paper in such a way that at that midpoint a right angle is formed which is meeting the other side so here the perpendicular bisectors of uh, ab is hm the perpendicular bisector of bc is de and the perpendicular bisector of ac is uh, gf you can uh, note that all these three points meet through a, a point uh, which is called as circumcenter now you can simply reverse that reverse that and uh, the strong tactile creases will enable the child to understand now the child will be able to understand well a b it has been folded now b c it has been folded and then c a it has been folded and the child will be able to feel that all the three perpendicular bisectors are uh, meeting in one point traveling through one point which is called as the circumcenter of the triangle abc hope uh, this uh, will enable the child to understand even the abstract concept through this concrete experience you know with a simple paper folding hope you like the video hope to see you in another uh, video